active. Men's doubles pair, as far as the World Championships are concerned, Hassan and Setia won. Potentially the reigning world champions in the semi-finals in Chia. And so that's how the draw is panning out. But right now for Lee and Yang, as well as Kang and Seo, it's about getting their way through this match and into the quarterfinals. It's getting very heated up as we enter the business end of the tournament. Lee Jiawei and Yang Poswan, as I was saying, coming off a huge win last night. They beat Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto, the world number ones in the second round, and find themselves here in the third. Not many people would have thought it would be them would be playing Kang and Seo. But here they are. And what an upset that was. Straight games that too. They beat the top seeds. Now, very impressive. 21, 18, 21, 19. And Alfian and Ardianto's journey at the World Championships cut short as a result. They'll be wanting to do more of that as they take on another seeded pair. In Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae. They are certainly one of the most informed men's doubles pairs at the moment. I was talking about Liang and Wang from China yesterday and how they, within a year, climbed up the ranks in remarkable fashion, where they started the year just into the top 100, and a year later, they find themselves as world number three. Kang and Seo's story is similar. They started at about 80 in the world last year and now find themselves in the top 10. Very quick on the rise. And uh, they're coming off also a title win in Australia, these two. So it's all peaking at the right time. That's just what you want in an Olympic qualifying year. <laughs> exactly. Making it their world championship debut as a pair. Wow. Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae. Seo Sung Jae, of course, played with Choi Sol Gyu okay, previously in the World white, Championships. White but as a pair, it's their first time, okay. and they're seeded ninth. Who will receive? Lee to receive. Who will serve and which side? Kang Sa. Kang Sa. Okay. So it was Chinese Taipei who chose to receive. Lee Jia Wei will receive. And uh, Korea chose ends, and they've decided to swap. Start on the further end of the court with Kang Min Hyuk serving. And this is their second meeting only, with uh, the last meeting coming at the German Open this year, the semi-finals. And Kang and Seo won that 21-13, 21-19. Mm -hmm. But I bet in the German Open, Lee Jo Wei. And Yang Po Swan had not beaten the world number ones in the previous match. That would be a huge confidence boost coming into this one. 29 years of age, Lee Jo Hui, who used to partner Lee Yang. One half of that Olympic winning, Olympic gold medal winning pair, his former partner. Now, of course, fairly successful partnership with Yang Po Swan, as you just saw, ranked 21 in the world, have gone up as high as 18. That was in May this year. Lee Jo Hui, you was ranked seven in the world with Lee Yang. So a lot of quality between these two players. 2023 win-loss record of 15 to 16, so it's fairly even. Never played in the third round of a World Championships. Never reached a third round of the World Championships. This is their best finish so far. As you can see, they beat Easton and Russ in the first round in straight games, 34 minutes, and then that big win over Alfian and Ardianto in 39 minutes. It was swift work by Lee and Yang, who are, of course, playing in their third World Championships. First time in the third round. Tang Min Hyuk, 24 years of age, the younger of the two from Suwon, South Korea. They're enjoying their best ranking of the year, number six in the world, which they got early August. A win-loss record of 31 to 11 this year. We see Seo Sung Jae, who also plays mixed doubles, incidentally, with Che Yu Jung and won that match earlier today in through to the quarterfinals in the mixed doubles. 25 years of age. They, too, have never played in the third round because this Ready is their play. debut. 
Of course. <laughs> Looking at uh, how they made it to the third round, they had a fairly easy win over Philippines' Bernardo and Murata in straight games as well. Official for this match, as we see there. And uh, I tell you that uh, for Sir Sung Jae, when he last played the World Championships was in 2019 and 2022 with choice of you. He lost in the quarterfinals in both those times, last year to Chia and so in two games was the result for Sio. So he's looking to make his third quarterfinal appearance if he wins here and maybe go one better. But this is a very fast pair in men's doubles, Absolutely. Kang and Sio. Absolutely. Sio is some of the best hair in the game. <laughs> and Lee and Young, Kirsty, I mean, a quick word on that win over Alfian and Ardiandra and, and just that impact that they that would have coming into a match like this. Absolutely. It'll have a huge impact on their confidence. Um, but we've seen it so many times before that a kind of slightly lower ranked pair will get that big win, but not quite be able to Ready? follow up with consistency and Ladies keep the and run going. On so I hope right, that's not the Kang case Min here. I hope we're in for an absolute Joe battle. Sun but uh, it'll be a big ask to beat the number one seeds and then to beat number six in the world. So it's going to be and tough. on my left, Lee Jae Wei and Yang Po Shuen, Chinese Taipei. Really nice. Kang Even Min though to serve they're in fairly good partnership, Kang and Sue, they've got a really nice Level. understanding of each other. Play. Which is evident in the badminton they play. Let's see Kang Min Hyuk serve. Oh! Serve is over. With regular partners since May One of last year. Left. They played on and off in a couple of tournaments in 2021, but really started pairing up since May last year, Korea Open, which they won, incidentally. Well, that's a, that's a nice record to have. <laughs> but, uh, exactly. Yeah, that's... Uh, Really nice to see from the coaches and from the pair that they have so much confidence in themselves that they can, they've decided to go for it for the Olympics. One, yep. oh. We're in an Olympic qualification year now, and with how fast they've risen through the rankings, it bodes well for the rest of the year, considering we're only May, June, July, August, four months in. Yeah, exactly. And the Koreans do have a habit of doing that, where a couple of years before the Olympics, you see sudden changes to what would have been otherwise fairly regular partnerships. Absolutely. And I think it, it kind of Your adds challenges? to like the Go freshness out. of partnerships. If you can get, consi well, not consistent change, but just like establish some pairs and then kind of modify tiny bits here and there. And challenged it, early challenge for Kang and Seo. You must be pretty confident. We've had a lot of early challenges, and <laughs> I'd say that back line is the hardest. What you, you, you rarely challenge see someone get it right, it right on remaining. the far away back line. Yeah. Serve is over. So they've only got Two, a challenge one, remaining one. early on in the first game. Right. Inside. Three, one. He said onside, and I immediately said inside. Ah, oh, he was double checking because the line judge didn't cite it, but the service, but the umpire had his eyes on the line and said it was inside. I didn't know that was the rule. I thought we had to go to Hawkeye, but you learn something new every day. Well, they only go to Hawkeye, I Ciao! guess. No one on the court Four, has any one. idea of where that shuttle landed. Sure. Really good start from the Taipei pair here, keeping their uh, service situation really tight. It's kind of been absolutely fast and furious from the, the first shot. Oh. It just tells you the quality of Chinese Taipei men's Five, doubles because you, if you look at the rankings and you look at where everything is, this is their third best pair. Wow. We've got Li and Wang, of course, the Olympic champions. We also have Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han who are the number two pair. And then I'm sure if we look further down the rankings, and if, from what I've heard of the challenge circuit right now, Chinese Taipei are 
covering the draws. They are Two, descending five. upon the challenge circuit right now. They're producing plenty of badminton stars. Absolutely, and I think that speaks volume to the kind of legacy that the current stars have, have started. Yeah. And these younger players are starting to come up through the ranks and really saturate, especially the doubles uh, disciplines. Three, five. Korea, Korea, don't shout before the light just makes a decision. That's beautifully placed. Four, five. He finds the far corner. But I, that's what helps, right? In doubles, that extra width on the court. Absolutely, yeah. When you have the drift, it's Play. such a help. If you can punch it, really punch it into yeah. the back corners. They've had some good success in both back corners in these first few points of this game. Five, that's a good so close to the net. I think that's quite often what sets doubles partnerships aside from the rest is how well can you execute and how tight is your service situation your first one two three four shots oh. Asan and Sekia, right? mm -hmm. the first three brick walls yeah. the first three Five. really fast brick walls yeah and they we're seeing it. the first three absolutely and we're seeing it here like in men's doubles especially because of the absolute speed of it we actually rarely get past the first four shots because it's just shut down. Yeah. So if you're tight in that aspect, it's very difficult to get to get a point. Lee really and Young have had a good showing of themselves so far. Oh, lovely. That's good. Time is over. I found that spot well. We do away. Saw that six. early enough. You haven't guessed by now. Victor Axelson is playing in the court near us. That's what the Seven ruckus is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Seven oh. Pretty sure everyone in the world can hear that. Cheer. Really well constructed rally. Just getting Yang to, Yang to take that in his backhand and then pushing up on the net. Out. Mm, it's well out. Well left. Yeah. Quite often in men's doubles, a player will just Seven. jump in pretty quickly and not even give himself the chance to judge that. But that was really well judged. Oh. Getting his money's worth out of his racket there. He is all of it. He is a fantastic player to watch at the net, Kang Min Hyuk. He's he's got a presence around him at the net, especially. And I think he'll know his partner's weight of shot so well that he'll know to not be standing on that front line because more than likely the power that you give comes back. So you have to be off the net a little bit to yeah. be able to capitalize on those on those defenses. Lifts and those defensive returns. Yeah. Oh. Nice touches Eight. coming off the Korean racket. And you can see that this found their rhythm now in this game. So fast onto that, and especially I think another really big asset of theirs, apart from the absolute explosive athleticism, that's well taken, um, is their lefty rightiness. Yeah. So we're always think, tricky to play. Yeah, where you think will be a backhand comes a comes a big yeah. slapping forehand, it makes things very difficult and very awkward. 11-8 at the break, in favour of the number nine seeds.
seconds. Hold on, 20 seconds. Quickly back on court. It's, uh, 11 8. After a chat with their coaches, Play. it's Kang and Sio who got the three point advantage here. Oh. Try to take that away. That well placed return oh, just into that awkward spot for a lefty to take. Forces an error. Well worked. 10, 11. Right back in it, two quick points. I say it's an advantage. Okay. There is yeah. a big advantage having a right and a left hander. Yeah. But it also leaves a gap down that middle if you're on this specific, these specific sides of the court. So your communication has to be pretty Spot perfect. Oh! Yeah. That is over. And your instincts and reflexes 12, have to 10. match up, but that's what they'll work on for hours and hours in training. And it just becomes a second nature. Oh! It's just so quick. So quick. 13, 10. One of the biggest assets. Kong. Always Kong. ready. Get ready to serve quicker. Mm -hmm. F faster serve. Quick to react. Applying so much good pressure in that kind of net forward area of the Taipei pair. And they have no choice but to send the shuttle upwards. Yeah. Such a tight serve. It's the thing, it's he's just pushing it over. He's not giving he's not giving any space not, yes. between the net and the Shuttle. It's, it's not really much of a hit, it's more of like yeah. a, a nudge or like a push. He just rolls it over, it almost feels like he's taking the uh, the racket head and rolling it over. Yeah. And that makes it really difficult to return. Because oh! it's so close to the net. 11, 15. Unusual. Uncharacteristic. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. There's me banging on about the advantages of left <laughs> and right handers. Uh, there was, there's always bound to be. There, there's so much riding on these matches now. It's always room to second guess yourself. Oh. Oi. Hold in. It's landed in. 15. And just like that. In the blink of an eye, they've narrowed it to a two-point lead. Yeah, it's really nice to see that like flat, fast game and both pairs being really well matched in that. But it's who can find those spaces down at the front, uh, in front of the front service line and into those back corners, spread the court and then capitalize on it. Seems to be shifting a little bit here. A lovely play by Lee Jo Hwage. Just move his body slightly backwards. Yeah. Kang matrixing himself out yeah. of the way there. Oh. Oh, they well come back. 15. Oh. Really well set up right from the, the serve and the third shot. I think this is where a big win like they had last night helps in sort of giving you that confidence to always believe you can come back. Absolutely. Oh. 
When in doubt, go down the middle. 16, 15. That's what Sir Sungjae did. Space. 16, oh. Going cross court. And if that had come back, his partner was there to to cover. Yeah, absolutely. Yang would have pounced on that one. Good net return. That was over. 17, 16. It's quite often literally a tactic in, in the doubles discipline to they fully practice receiving those serves onto that net cord, yep. getting it to tumble down <laughs> and making it unreturnable or a super high lift that's very hard to control. Which then becomes really difficult to play. Absolutely. We can see how tight these service situations are and how both pairs are struggling to to break it's each other's down. It feels impossible to return. Yeah. From where's the space? Where's the space? It's good serve. And I think, with, and I and I feel like with the conditions 18, that we have 17. in this arena, the more the emphasis to keep the serves as low as possible, like give no space to play any kind of high shot. Absolutely. The more that shuttle has to fly, the more time, like we see there. You see it drif drifting left to right there. Um, the more time the shuttle has to be affected by the wind. Well, this is very, very tight now. 18 all. They've exchanged leads a few times. It's just 19, 18. battle of nerves at the moment. Who has the nerves to stay calm and play? Their badminton the way they normally do. Oh, what a serve. That's uh, 20. You have no choice but to <laughs> push yourself into that and take it early. But at the same time, it's dipping. It's okay, play on. That's, that's an amazing serve. Uh, and I see that so much in men's doubles. It can win and lose you the game. That's nice. Use of the space. Again, slower shot. Oh, could have been drifting wide there. Oh. And they've missed it. It's landed out. We have one game point still. 20. It was such a controlled rally as well. They were really going for placement over power. Correct. He went for the slower shots. He was looking for the forward area to play into. And then drag the opponent forward. Again, the serve does the trick. 21-19, Kang and Seo edge and their opponents out. 21, 19. In 17 minutes. And it has been the weapon of choice, I'd say. Absolutely. Combination <laughs> so 
Game two. Cartoon, 20 <laughs> seconds. There. Oh, uh, here onto the court seconds. then, the 20 second call. <laughs> ready to play. So ready. Kang and Su have, game. of course, that first game advantage now, so they might, it might loosen them up now to play. play their natural game. Yeah, we didn't get many, like, super long rallies in, in that first set, which... We don't often see in men's doubles just due to the rapid nature of it. It's very hard to have that control. And quite often it'll be a literal centimeters, millimeters yep. difference between winning and losing these these tight midcourt and net exchanges. That's some power. Two left. And that down. Then shut up. The men's doubles earlier, though, between uh, Chia and So and Li and Wang. We saw, surprisingly, quite a few long rallies. And that just, again, that's, I think, the quality was matching. And so they, were, they had to find those outside spaces. Yeah, I think it comes down to kind of the style of each pair. Yeah. I think you see from the Indonesians, they're quite willing and they love playing the big long rallies with a bit of flair, whereas the Koreans in the, in the Taipei uh, pairs, I think it's quite typical for them to be absolutely challenges. all out all the time. <laughs> all in all the time. He's challenged it again early long. on. I'm going to say long. Yeah. I'm not going to make these decisions. <laughs> but this is one of the hardest ones for the line judges <laughs> to call when it's coming in that fast and that flat. It's really tricky because sometimes it's the feathers that catch the line. Yeah, that's well out. You were right, Kirsty. Yes. You can take full credit. Rack it up. Yeah, Service absolutely. <laughs> Three, one, play. That's good use of space. Two, three. It's very risky to play that full cross court because you yeah. leave your full this side, of the left hand side of your court fully exposed. Yeah. But if you can nail it, you're uh, you're laughing. Oh. Time is over. Four, two. Good return. That was a really tight return. On what was already a very low serve. That, that, that left hand coming Three, into play. Four. Yeah. Immediate apology. Oh no, it was oh it was right hand. Yeah. He took that quite early, got quite a height. Yeah, it's the interception snap across. That one's gone Four. wide. Oh. Five. Oh. over. They're just taking turns. Five. Four. Yeah. Five. At the moment, that's what's happening. It's it's a battle of who can serve lower and who can return <laughs> the low serve. Absolutely. How low can you serve? Oh, oh that's I, well read. That's Superb. So There's Trumps, no yeah. better feeling Five. as a badminton player <laughs> than when you call that um, interception right. Just rack it up, boff. And there's nothing you can do about it. Play. Done. There is one better feeling if Which you is? can do that off a of receive of serve. Oh, is that right? Mm, or the third shot, if you can get that into the... Oh, it feels great. <laughs> back in my doubles career, my ah. doubles playing days. Six, five. Oh, 
Oh, that's that. good. Seven, Quite five. laden, but it was also that he got that length. It's just these little variations, because I think most of the game will be played in this mid-court net yeah. positions. And these little variations, who's going to be brave enough? Ooh, they both went Ooh. for it. Look at that. It was well taken by someone. <laughs> well, Seven. it could have been both of them took it, the way the rackets are almost synced. <laughs> Uh, but it's who's got the um, Let's see confidence. Who gets it? I can't see. It's. I think it's Kang Min Hyuk. I think it's Kang, yeah. Nice. It's that athleticism to get across there on the left leg. And they also sort of, you know, even if they're not in the perfect position, it's the way they bend themselves, their bodies, yeah. to try and get that angle. They may not be in the right position. They might be a step too far or... Not in. It's just those little adaptations Correct. that make the difference. Oi, that's unlucky. That was over. The space was there. Eight, seven. Well worked yeah. by Lee and Yang. And this is a good spell by the Chinese Taipei pair. They've just constructed two points in a match where it's been hard to even do that. To even get to the, posi the point of, oh, I think we've ricocheted off the Neck. Off a nose there, Eight. maybe. A nose? Nine. Oh, yeah. A cheek razor. Yeah. That must have hurt a little bit because it came at quite a lot of power. Yeah. Came That's quite fast. This is what we're seeing whenever someone Shadows gives the shuttle a chance to, Ten, to travel, that the, the conditions in the hall are, are difficult. That's a good serve. 11, eight, so on double. the break, they're in the lead, Lee and Yang, 11-8. It's a must-win game for them. And they have a three-point lead against the higher-ranked Kang and Seal. Catchy Back on court, and it's Lee and Young who lead 11 8 at the break. And the second game, the first game was edged out. I think edged out is fair to say by Kang and Seo because it has been that close. Well left. I think it's quite interesting. That's the that kind of trend over. that we've seen so far in these well. these games on court two. The the person winning the first set on the far side has actually struggled when we've changed ends and been on this this near side. Yep. I don't know if it's a difference in condition, but it's definitely what we've seen so far. That was over. It's better playing conditions 13, on it, it further end. Seems to be yeah. yeah. Seems like it allows the players more, you know, just the idea of uh, their lines and margins, a better understanding of it. Definitely. That's oh, nice. That's beautiful. Every time it lands in the corner, yeah. 
well placed. Just almost that perif peripheral vision, and you can see your two players drifting over to cover the straight. Yeah. And if you can execute that cross court well, then you're in the money. And if not, you will be thoroughly punished for it. <laughs> there that we go again. Good space. Oh. Gets it on the 13. floor. They, are, they do have this uh, lovely ability to sort of know where they want to put the shuttle beforehand as well. Absolutely. I think their coach is encouraging them to push forward, close down that net, and then maybe use those backcourt spaces. Yeah, yeah, there. And again. But still so alert and so aware in, those, in that net press that forward. On the defense, they can't in here. Couldn't do anything about that smash coming his way. Three point lead still for Lee and Yang. I have to say, this is a good hold of the lead by the Chinese Taipei pair because in game one, they were chasing for a large part of it. Oh, you changed oh, records? Oh, we love a record. Oh, I well. love it. And he came back to play that shot. Oh, we love to see it. Changes the racket, comes back and then plays that shot. Oh, with a little move. skip. Exactly. With a little skip it's fantastic badminton all around. Best racket swap you've ever seen. What's, what is it? What would oh. you say? Man, there's so many. I'll give you mine first. Tell me. Mine is, uh, was it go and lay what? at the 2017 Sudermann Cup in Australia in Gold Coast? And Go breaks his string, takes Lay's racket, she runs off, changes rackets. <laughs> they did a, a double swap. I think so. I, I think I remember that. But I also remember, I think it was uh, Gideon and Sukamulio. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's gone wide. I can't remember which tournament it was, but this was, I think, in the 2018 when they were having that 12, amazing 16. run of tournaments. Mm -hmm. And, and Sukamulio held court, I think, at least for five shots. And imagine a men's doubles. Yeah. That. Incredible. Because I think Gideon had to not only, he, he went and dumped his racket and had to find it out of his bag. Oof. Overshot that one, but with the, with the pace that it was coming in at, 17, difficult to 12. control. But I, I think I remember the one you're talking about. Yeah. In Gold Coast. For anyone watching, you can look <laughs> that one up on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Treat yourself. That's a good return. Nice. Holding that net. 13, 17. But Lee and Yang still, still with a good lead here. Yeah. And I think that the fact that they've managed to hold it, up, hold it for as long as they have it was at 7 all that they took the lead properly, held on. Be a great confidence. That's good. That's really good use of the courts. It gets the Korean pair almost out of configuration. You don't want that big a gap between you and doubles because it just lends itself to easy targets. What nice a point! Placement. What a point! 19, Lee and Yang have definitely been the more accurate pair in here. Really f having that vision to see those spaces. Just look at that! That's so nice. He just nudged the shuttle. So it's two points away from evening the score. Lee and Yang. Well, uh, challenge. <laughs> I'm still not gonna guess which way it went. Oh, I couldn't see from here. I'm not gonna. Yeah, not gonna give my two guess. cents on this one. <laughs> challenge on successful. 
One challenge remaining. Yeah, I was going to say that. But, yeah. You know. <laughs> 20. You almost Game had point. it. <laughs> 13. But I think what Lee and Yang have done well here is point. really press up the court. But it felt like they were a little bit on the back foot in the first set. But they've really stepped up, applied the pressure, and we're, we're into a third. Second game won by Lee. We K are. Boy. It's Young Boshwan, even scores, one game, one game each. And it's Lee and Yang. One more lovely serve. Look at that rolling serve. Little net card doesn't hurt. It's 21-13 to the Chinese Taipei pair. We're going into a decider. Back on court, ready to go for Final the game. deciding game. Play. Number nine seeds under pressure. That's well read and well taken by and Lee I there. Anyone who thought that Lee and Yang beating Alfian and Ardianto could have been a possible fluke, they're proving that it is. Yeah, they're exactly. Look at that. Just bringing it into his inside hip. And it's so difficult to escape from there. Just gonna take that one. I'd be happy to take that one. Kang and Seo have been, I think, playing catch up now for I'd say half a game at least. At second half, I'd say Lee and Yang really up the pressure in the second game. Oh, that's that. good defense. Gee. Oh, and again. Oh, and again, he's taking another racket. It's still and they like, the and they won the point. <laughs> you change more ra rackets more often. No matter how hard Kang and Seo tried, Lee and Yang kept at it. Now, put it away. Lee Joe Wei to just put his racket away, get into it straight away. Even aside, Three, up. sorry, apologies. Even yeah. aside from the uh, the racket change, that was a great rally. Yeah, because they defended a lot. Korea, but it was also the persistence from Lee and Yang. They kept finding the lines. This time, Kang Min Hyuk takes no prisoners. Oh. 
some big yeah. hits there. He got yeah. through the wall. I think that's what they're trying to do. Just kill off the points as hard and fast as possible because as soon as it gets into the longer exchanges, Lee and Yang more often than not are coming out on top. It'll be interesting to see if Kang and Seo can uh, get a little advantage being on, on that far side. That has typically been the... Oh, hey, there we go. We That's an interception. That's there you go. <laughs> slam dunk. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if the Korean pair can get a, a little couple of point advantage on this side because going into the other changing ends, as we will do in this third set, it will be typically difficult for them to seal it off. That's a good return off of a good flick. I think someone's got a phone up or some kind of light being shown. Kangman yeah. here pointed it out. That's nice. Six, just that coverage four. and just the athleticism to cover that that space in the midcourt and not give your opponents a chance to get it onto that back line. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's gone. It is so difficult when just that little light catches yeah. your eye as a player in the crowd. I yeah, uh, I asked <laughs> I asked an umpire to take her I. I her uh, I watch off one because time because it was just it was constantly glinting oh, off the light. No. I felt so no. bad, but I could see Five, it every time I, I shaped up to receive yeah. serve. It's hard enough to spot the shuttle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't need another no. distraction. That was over. Seven five. Cut. Cut. Not in the direction of the opponent. That's it not to cheer out of respect in the direction of the opponent. That's a good little... Yeah. I found that space. Exactly. Lee Jiu Hui taking time <laughs> to get back on his feet, wondering what could have been done. Quickly. Yeah. Because, as you were saying, they've now opened up that little gap Thank that you. we were expecting board. them to do Definitely. from that end. It's just that drawing of both the Taipei players over to that right box, causing a little bit of confusion with that kind of like Five. half lift, Play. half court liftish. Ooh. Pulled out. Just missed it. Maybe worth a challenge, but they're not gonna. I think they only have one remaining. Oh no, that was in the second game. Yeah. Well, they have enough challenges. Yeah, that was... Big. That was bound to be put away. Bound to be punished. Spiked. That was a volleyball spike. Yeah. But it was that initial shot down into those tram lines that forced the weak re return. Yeah. That was over. We receive Seven, both of these nine. pairs. Very alert at the net as men's doubles is, but just able to go either flat out in the exchanges. That's a good soft shot. He wanted that interception. Yeah, <laughs> he was ready for it. Oh. I was hoping it would come flying back. Yeah. What's up? Ah, oh, the wind's going to take that one. Time's over. Normally, Nine, without the wind, eight. he'd be absolutely rattling. Which is why I'm, 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 I'm surprised you went for the flick serve. Yeah.
sometimes it's good to just give your opponent something else to think about. Yeah. You get quite into the rhythm of that short serve and receive. Yeah. Time's over. Nine, ten. Again, trying to find a way past Chinese Taipei Bear. He goes for the driftier end. Flash brackets. Don't think we've had a break. That's good. And Sakang and Seo hold on. This is still a very narrow lead at the break. 11 9. They are being pushed to the limit by Lee and Yang. And this is a tight affair in the men's doubles. Back on court, Kang and Seo, the number nine seeds, up by two points in the decider, 11-9. Change of ends, though, which will make it for an interesting finish, to say the least. It has been too close to fall, Kirsty, and I think either way, this is going to go down the wire, but the change of ends certainly makes it that much more interesting. Definitely. We've seen the... Uh, Vidasarn on the last game, he sealed it off on this side, right? Yep. But he did not make it seem like there was a better side. Yeah, true. But, uh, yeah, I think Kang Siu have done the slightly better job of, of finding those gaps yep. in this third set. It's been a little bit more about that than the, the flat, yeah. fast game. Like that. That's beautiful. 13, nine. You almost went around his opponent <laughs> yeah. on that one. The drift maybe uh, helped that yeah. bend it like Beckham there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're coming up with lots of sporting analogies today, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, throw in some more film analogies. I was going to go with the bending the bullet like he wanted, and he bends the bullet. Oh, that's a big it's like smash. Yeah. That was over. 10 13. Three point lead. Oh, we've seen Lee and Wang bow out today. They still have Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han in the mix. Look at that 455 kilometers per hour. That smash. That's pretty sharp. Oh. A flatter one there from Siu Sung Jae. 14 10. Aimed at the body. Oh, he slipped. But luckily he got out of the way because that's yeah, called out. May have been to his advantage. Yeah. We will see a little challenge here. I you not sure it'll be successful. Torn on this one. Mm. Again, one of the harder ones to call when it's coming yeah. so flat and fast at the line. And it did look like it fell out. I'm going to say out. Yeah, it did look like it fell out. Challenge That's why I said it was good that he got out of the way. One Lee Jo Hui. <laughs> got a challenge remaining. Line judge, line judge, line judge. Give you another Matrix Language. reference for that. No, yep, Tommy. <laughs> no, just that he <laughs> matrixed himself out of the way. <laughs> I didn't think that was quite the Matrix move, <laughs> Chris. No, it wasn't as, uh, not as slick. It was, more, think, it was more slippery I don't than think slick. Neil, Neil falls <laughs> over when he does it. Play. Three points. That's the gap.
oh, that would have been so nice. 12, if you could get it over. Takes so much to get those really tight blocks off of such a powerful smash. It takes so much control. Straight to the body of Kangman here. Well 30, stepped in. 40. Bound to be lapse in judgment because it's gone on now for 50 minutes this match. And that the pace that it has gone on at. Someone's got a blink, right? Yeah. That's good use of the court. Oh, beautiful. Even though at one Bounce point over. they did try and go for the same shot. Hang and seal. Better that both of you go for it than neither of you. Yeah, so. true. <laughs> that one there. Both on the backhand. And then to keep it on that side and not try and spread the court there, that would have been the wrong move. So that was ideal to keep it on that half. Also, that's a big difference from being 14 all and 15 13 at this point in the game. Yeah, big point. I wonder whether you should have 16, gone for that. I think he 30. didn't, I just guess he didn't have the, didn't get his racket on that shuttle, which is why he left it. But that interception that he was hoping to do. Yeah. Young post one there. I guess it was too high. I don't know. Yeah. I think you throw your body first. Yeah. And your racket comes to meet it. Maybe he was going to go for the fake. Pulled away too uh, late. I don't know. Oh. Oh, this 17, is a good. 30. Spell no, from Kang and Seo. It's these tiny little passages of play. A couple of serves, a couple of receives, one miscommunication, and so suddenly we've got a four point gap. Exactly. And that's the cruel nature of the sport. You don't have really the time Young. or the space Young. to. Quicker. I find when umpires. Think do that it kind of slows the game <laughs> slows the game down <laughs> <down more. laughs> get quicker but it's technically yeah readjusting yourself isn't it yeah it's a big yell from the koreans in that point because they're now just three away this gap has come at the right time but their tails up That's good defense. But the Koreans are holding on to this attack well. Yeah. Oh, that looked like it was going out. I think the wind might have kept it in. Oh, we. Oh. Oh. That was over. Like the court, please. Landed awkwardly there, Seo Sung Jae, I think. 14, 80. Quickly. Yeah. He's trying uh, to get back in position, but he just slipped, I think. Back on court. There. Yeah, that was a little slip, but should be fine. Your shuffle. Yeah, it was that first that first shot into the right hand box from Lee, I think. Uh dragging both the Korean players across 40, there 80. and giving them no choice but to shut down that net. Right. Oh. Excellent that return. Nineteen forty at the net is quite a formidable opponent. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's good movement 20, between the Koreans as well. 40. Just these little errors that are sneaking in. I think we're seeing um, the experience of the Korean players shine through. Quite often it happens that the pairs are even up until about 14, 15. Yeah, and then the gap opens up. And then the gap opens up, and the Koreans have managed to get a, a gap a bit sooner, but really held on to it well. 15, 20. One match point saved. See how many it takes. Young goes one, goes down the middle. Oh. 
Well, that was maybe going out, but that's it. Kang and Seo, the number nine seeds, have done it. They've gone and seen off Lee and Yang in a three-game thriller. 21-19, 13-21, 21-15 in almost an hour, 54 minutes to be exact. Yes, he is a happy man at the end of it because they were pushed to the brink. The world number six. They will be happy to have come away winners through to the quarterfinals. Seo Sung Jae doing the hard work at the back court. In the end, it's Chinese Taipei shuttlers who make the error on the driftier side. So it's job done for Kang and Seo. Confirmation once more off that score 21 19, 13 21, 21 15 in 54 minutes. Coming up, it's men's singles and the last match of the day. It is the All England champion Lee Shi Feng who takes on the very experienced Wang Tzu Wei. That's what's coming up here on court two. game of the day here on court two it's the men's singles matchup between the number six seed from china li shi feng and the chinese taipei shuttler the world number 21 29 i beg your pardon wang tzu wei that's the match that's going to close proceedings here on day four as we see some lovely pictures of the danish capital looking at the men's row we can see that the quarterfinal positions are being taken up and the winner here will take on Kunlavut Vititsan who we saw earlier today see off Lakshasen the number 11 seed in three games and then of course waiting in the semi-final